hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC without using entity framework how to bind drop down list from MySQL PHP my admin database and here we got the final output notice the state names are binded into this drop down list from state table from MySQL PHP my admin database without using entity framework let's check the table also and this is a state table I have binded the sname column into this drop down list that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC drop down list MySQL. Okay. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC4. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. And now, in this project, I'm adding a new controller in the controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. And I'm selecting the MVC5 controller empty, add. The controller name is my controller add and here we got the controller the first thing in this controller I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.configuration the third namespace I want to add the mysql dll namespace but by default in Visual Studio, it's not available in the project references folder. We have to install manually. So let's add mysql.data DLL library into our project folder. Notice there is a references folder. I click that one. Manage not packages. Click that one. Go to browse browse for mysql enter and from the search results we got the mysql.data which is the first one select that one install ok I accept the license and here we got a message successfully install mysql.data the version is 8.0.13 into our project. Let's close this window and also notice there is a green tick mark which means this DLL library is added into our project folder. Open Solution Explorer. Let's expand the references folder. Notice here the mysql.data is added. Now we can able to access the DLL library using mysql dot data dot mysql client after adding these three namespaces open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references folder come to the bottom notice at the bottom there is a web.config file open that one now in this web.config file I'm adding a connection strings name is equals to mysql connection connection string here the connection string i am adding mysql php my admin data source data source is equals to localhost the second parameter is a port number port is equals to to find out the port of mysql php my admin let's visit the PHP my admin mysql database 
my sql 3306 is a port number let's add that one 3306 the next parameter is the initial catalog initial catalog is a database name the database name is a sample db user id root which is a default username and the password is equals to semicolon and notice here the password i have not entered any password because i don't require to log into my php my admin database so i'm leaving the password blank if you have any password please enter that one and the last one SSL mode is equals to none. If you don't add SSL mode is equals to none, at runtime you will get an error. So make sure SSL mode is equals to none, add in the connection string. After adding the MySQL PHP MyAdmin connection string, switch to the controller. In the action is an index string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double calls i am adding my sql connection dot connection string my sql connection sql con is equals to new my sql connection i am adding main con object string sql query is equals to here the sql query is a select statement before writing the select statement let's check the table name in php my admin the table name is a state which contains three columns sld s name and cid i want to bind the s name which is a state name into a drop down list let's write the query Select star from state MySQL command SQL com is equal to new MySQL command which takes two parameters. The first one is a command text which is a SQL query. The second parameter is a connection object SQL con. Let's open the connection string sql con dot open method close the connection string close method my sql data adapter sda is equals to new my sql data adapter i am adding my sql command object which is a sql com data set ds is equals to new data set i have created the object for the data set sda.fill method i am filling the data set object view back dot s names is equals to ds dot tables zero after that i'm adding a list class list select list item get states is object new listed list item for each row system dot data dot and data row be our object in I'm adding viewback.s name dot rows property. Now I'm adding the state names into this get states objects. Get states dot add method the new select list item text is equals to add dr between double calls the data column name i want to add the s name column s name 
plot to string method comma the second property is a value is equals to at dr as name dot to string method view back dot state names is equals to I'm adding get states object name that's it we have done the complete coding part now we need the index view page highlight the index right click that one add view the view name is the index only and the template empty without model add and here we got the index view page also here I'm adding center tag h1 how to bind data into drop down list from mysql php my admin database without using entity framework horizontal line and HTML drop, drop down list the first parameter I'm adding the view bag state names copy this one Pasting here, comma, and the second one string option label. I want to add the default label to this drop down list. Select state name now. Before run this project, the most important we need to change the controller name in the route.config file. Open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one and here notice the controller name is the home which is a default one I'm deleting that one our controller name is my controller I'm adding my and the action result page is an index only which is this one that's it Let's check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. Notice the state names are binded into this drop down list from state table from MySQL PHP MyAdmin database without using entity framework. Let's check the table also. And this is the state table. I have binded the S name column into this drop down list that's it